Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC and this time I'm actually going to show you uh, how I'm going to modify my orange model uh, because the antenna, you know, the, the position of the antenna is a little bit too low and if you drop this thing or, you know, happen to to put pressure on it, you're going to snap this off and you're going to break it um, but my really main reason for 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 it to try to move this thing out of here put it somewhere else is because i can put this thing on the case you know if i try to put it on the case you know it sticks way up there and the case won't close of course and you don't want to put pressure on that so i'm pretty much going to try to do it the way uh some of the models come which is add another box on top over here on top of the orange model uh, I really wanted to use this bigger one. I think this is like a, a 40 gram servo right here. I wanted to use this one and put it until on top over here. But uh, this one is covering my bind plug on the bottom. So that kind of sucks. That eliminates the bigger. You see the bind plug right there? Uh, that eliminates the, my, you know, me using that one. So I'm going to have to go with the smaller 9 gram servo box, which is better, you know, because it's a smaller. So it's going to be lo lower profile and the antenna is going to be lower and it clears all my, my switches and everything so I'm gonna go with this one uh, now this again this is a servo box uh, this is an igram servo pretty much the back of the igram servo as you can see that's the front this is the back of it right here all I did is pull that out and you know on the very bottom of it there's still another little piece of plastic right here it goes over here pretty much took all the guts off of it and you see this is the, the bat and what I did, you know, we're gonna flip it over. So on the very back for us, we're gonna have those holes, which is not a big deal because remember, the little plate that goes, that normally goes on this side, right here, normally goes right here. Uh, all we're gonna do is, you know, when we flip it over, we're just gonna put it on the opposite side. You know, it's the same size and it lines up everything good. So, well, I really can do it one, with one hand, but you know, so that'll be that point like that, right there. So it'll be good. So what I'm gonna do now is pretty much open the box. I um, mean, the, open this model and we're gonna see what it looks like inside okay my friends so I have already taken the screws off of it and open it uh, to get this off all you gotta do is take the the knob that's holding the antenna down and it slides right in and this whole thing actually pops out of here I'm just gonna flip it over so I don't have to pull on it see everything comes out and the antenna actually snaps on in place over here, so that's good. And it's gonna snap it off out of place, so I can work with it. And on a little servo box, what I did already is put a hole on top of it. See right there? Uh, that hole is pretty much big enough for this part of the antenna to fit through it. It's gonna be hard for me to do it one hand. See if it's through there. But it's supposed to go the other way, you know, from the inside. And there is actually, there is barely, barely enough room in there to put everything that has to go inside on the inside let's see if i can do it one hand see this right here that goes on the inside and this is already creased so i'm gonna worry about that there's enough room in there guys to put you see right there this on the inside so uh now that i have this right here and I have that hole over there what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the back of the the plate i'm gonna move this to one side so i don't mess with it uh this point right here and take this and I'm gonna bring it up to this corner right here this there is like a border on, on the model so you can actually pretty much square a knife right there and I'm gonna mark it with my knife and I'm gonna cut the this film off so I can see clear through it because you see those little holes those little holes on the very corner since you really can't see them <laughs> pretty much the, the, the holes where the screws go for the servo I want to mark those on this plate because I'm going to screw it in I don't want to glue it in place I'm going to screw it in so let me go ahead and do that guys and I'll show you what, what it's going to look like okay my friends so as you can see <clears throat> I took the plastic off of there pretty much the, the little sticker that I put on the back put, remove that part off that way when you put this box over here you know, like I say, it, it will snap on place pretty much on, on the corners of the plastic. When you, well, let me see if it's hard to do this with one hand. Anyway, when you flip it over, you can see clearly the plastic in there. You see the holes I put over there? Because I was able to see clearly these little holes on the corners of this thing, on the, on the servo box. Uh, so all I did was pretty much use a little very tiny screwdriver, I mean, you know, drill bit right here and just put those holes there pretty much it has to be a little bit smaller these are the the, the screws they go on the normally go on the servo box 
So you see the, the bit I used was a tiny little bit smaller just so it will grab something, you know, over there. So pretty much now what I'm gonna do, oh, also, as you see, on the center over there, I put a small hole. This hole right here doesn't have to be big, it just has to be a, a small enough just to pass the antenna through it. Cause like I said, you know, this antenna snaps on. So now this is big enough that I can pass the antenna through this and put the rest on the box. So let me go ahead and put this inside this box, guy. And after I do that, I'm pretty much gonna pass it through the hole and attach it on place and I'm gonna put it all back together. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, my friends, so as you can see, it's all together now. Uh, the servo screws that <laughs> were actually barely long enough that, that I can feel them over here, it's a flush. So what I did after I put them in place, and you know, see this box right here, I mean, it's strong, it's moving, it's bending the whole case. Uh, I just put drop of super glues on these corners just to make sure, you know, it's gonna stay there. And okay, one thing that I didn't show you in the video, you know, because again, I was trying to record it with, it with one hand. Now I got it smart enough and I'm using my tripod. Uh, like I said, this, the the, the the wires inside this box, you know, it, it's, it's tied in there. I don't know as you can see in there. Uh, so pretty much to get this, this to the hole, I took my box, which of course this is a bigger one, and put pressure on it. Uh, you can just see how it flexes. Uh, this one is thinner plastic, so they're gonna flex better. So pretty much I split this right here, and it will slide that right in there into the hole, which will be easy. So as you can see, I'm pretty much done. What I'm gonna do now is put it all back together and put it on my radio, and we'll see if it will go in my in my case now. Okay, my friends. So now you see the model is already installed on the back of the radio. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Let me put the antenna up. So the way, as you can see, it's a heck of a lot more profile now because when it was on the bottom over here, it was actually sticking out. Uh, I made it and it was three quarters of an inch farther out, but down here, which is way too far out. Now up there, uh, it's definitely not gonna be on my way and it's a strong, like I said, I mean, it's, it's screw in place. Now the moment of truth, the reason why I did this, I'm gonna show you the, it actually fits on my case now. Bring this down. Let's bring the antenna down over here too. I already cut me a little slot on my phone just to allow the other antenna. See right there, I mean, it's nothing there, nothing to it now. Some place. And look at that, it fits perfect now. Just like it did before with our, that big old antenna. And of course now I can close it. There'll be pressure on it because of, you know, it's a new case and these foams over here still have to give some more, you know, so it's pressure right there, but. Okay, my friends. So I hope this video helped you out and thank you for watching guys. Subscribe. See you next fly.